All right, so welcome everybody to the Spotted uh, Painter. I don't do videos too often these days. I, I try to do more, but stuff just gets in the way. So we're gonna we're gonna do a quick video though that I was asked to do. Um, this is on painting a prop for one of your D and D games. Prop is a little different than a mini, mainly in that uh, when we're mini, we're trying to paint something this big that represents something you know much larger life size. So we add the highlights and shadows to indicate the size difference okay because you can't just paint a mini a solid color because all of the ambient light acts like fill and just fills in all the shadows that would normally happen um but with a prop this is intended to represent a set of these figurines that you would give to one of your players in a game so we don't have to add highlights and shadows because whatever shadows you want for the prop come from the environment the the this is a life-size representation of what it's supposed to be so instead of adding highlights and shadows what we need to do is try to get the material to look like it we want it so maybe you want it made out of stone so you want to paint it like stone maybe you want it made out of granite or, or steel or something else today what i've been asked to do is to show you how to paint it like marble without using an airbrush so that's a little tricky because there's a bunch of ways to paint marble with an airbrush so you know you can get yourself fancy dancy airbrush and uh, some dryer sheets and go to town I'll, I'll throw some links into that if you want to look at how to do it like that we're going to attempt to show you how to do it um without an airbrush i went through probably probably legitimately 15 different methods ideas um everything for an easy way to do um, marble here without having to spend a lot of time without having to um, just really be meticulous and detailed so we're gonna try and and see how this goes and hopefully it looks well um, we're just gonna focus on this figure for the moment um, but you would just you know rinse and repeat on the other ones um, so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a lighter color for your base we're gonna do some kind of a uh, uh, ivory and uh, dark veined marble. So we're going to use uh, some bright ivory from Pro Acryl. That is this right here. I've already got it laid out. We're going to use some dark neutral gray. You could use black or blue or just about anything else. You just want a nice dark color. Just depends on what kind of tones you want in your marble. Okay. And then <clears throat> in here is some sort of uh, acrylic retarder. What that means is it's something that slows the paint drying. This is kind of the only special thing you're going to need to, to do this. Um, because we're going to be doing some form of wet blending and you really need to slow the paint down just a little bit to, to, to make it easier. We don't want to do a lot. The particular uh, retarder that I like um, is called Magic Mix by Joe Sonia. Um, which painter? One of the YouTube painters turned me on to this. And I gave it a shot, and for certain things, I really like it because it doesn't uh, dry too shiny, which is nice. It, it does have some matte in there. If you look, it says matte, um, which is nice because a lot of the retarders dry very, very shiny. So first thing we're going to do, you don't want to, you don't need to use a whole lot of this. This isn't like the fine art retarder where you just need to use the tiniest drop. Um, it's more realistic, so that, that amount that I put in there is perfectly fine. Um, some of the fine art retarders, you want like one drop to a lot of paint. We're not trying to keep this open for a long time. Like we would for like, if we were trying to mimic oil paint or something, we just need to keep it alive a little bit longer. I've got this on a wet palette. This is the, um, Excelsior wet palette by Game Envy. I really like it. It, um, it's a very handy tool. I'm also going to want some sort of paper towel or something. Let me grab one of those. Lay this guy down, and we're just going to fold him up, set him right over here. And of course, I got my trusty glass of water off screen. Sometimes I put the water on screen so that you guys can see everything, but there's nothing really special about the rinse on this. Um, I will let you know if I'm rinsing or if there's anything particular about that. Sometimes there is something special about that. So overall, what we're going to be doing is basically putting some paint, uh, some of the ivory on, and then putting some veins on and kind of softening them out and then kind of rinsing them and repeating, so to speak, over and over until we get kind of a blur of where the lines kind of should 
kind of sort of be and then some harder lines and everything um so all we've done is we've taken some of this we've got a makeup brush and a uh, you know kind of a fine tipped this is the number one Raphael, and we're just going to work um in this area right here for now the thing when painting props like this you want some of these lines to go over some of these these fur areas and stuff to make it look like it's part of it so then what we're going to do is we're going to take this we need this to be we want to use a pretty decent brush here hopefully i can do this and then we're just going to start to make some you want most of these to be going in mostly the same direction okay but not too much you don't want them to all be the same the same uh did i put some down there make sure i got some on there really hard to do this on camera it always then we'll have a little forks coming off and what we're going to do is we're going to take just a little bit of this and we're just going to kind of soften that and we should you should lose most of it but you'll have that 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 softened edge of where it was that's what we're looking for right there and you know we probably want to put some up on the horns here we'll just put it here this is a less is more situation for the most part so you do not want to just cover this thing in lines it'll look really weird so we probably want something on the back maybe just a little Okay, then what we do, we come back in, we just kind of repeat, we go in the same kind of general, area, kind of follow where you were before, and we're going to soften it up again. We should see it a little, a little, and we're slowly getting that kind of veiny look, right? Then what we start doing is we start being a little more selective and just start darkening, not the whole line, just some places. Nothing I've done is hard here, guys. This is not a, a difficult technique. We're going to throw some down here. And because we've been using some of that extender, this is going, you know, pretty well. It hasn't fully kind of dried yet on us. Oh, we want something down here on the feet, right? Remember, we we're always wanting to paint over that wet base, so don't just add a splotch of black over that wet base. Right? Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to pick out with real precision. We're going to try to pick out just a few of these. The head keeps getting in the way, doesn't it? I gotta figure out a better camera. Really wanna make. You see how that would be horrible like? And we're just going to kind of soften 
some of the rest of these edges that maybe got a little too dark. Then what we want to kind of do we're just gonna by hand we can kind of smooth some things out. We can wipe some of the dark away a little bit, right? Because we want some of this. All we've done is just wet this brush here. And we're just smoothing that out. Just letting that kind of happen like that. You can you can see how that really looks does a good looking job for trying to look like we want now because we're trying to mimic a shiny surface. Once this does dry, you do want to hit this with some gloss. I will take a picture at the end and show you what that looks like. And uh, yeah, so things to remember. You're going to want a dark color, a light color. You're going to want a makeup brush. You're going to want uh, a fine tip brush. And you're going to need some sort of acrylic extender because you want, uh, you want to keep that, that open time a little bit, right? What we can do too, I realized I don't like how it's just look like that. We'll just, there we go. I just give it a little character. Right. So yeah, that's how you paint marble and you can just do that over and over then. It, it doesn't take too long. It's not the quickest technique. I tried some things that I thought might be faster, but that's marble. And uh, have a good one, guys. Bye.